okay hello guys and then welcome to another video um, I hope um, you were able to go through the previous video and then you were able to at least understand the concept of mathematical induction okay so um, I quite remember I told you to you know um, go through it and then now I'll, I'll prove to you how to you know arrive at the same answer or prove the induction by using a calculator trick okay so this is what we will be doing in this section and then I'll take another example so that um, you get the exact concept okay you grab the concepts okay so let's take for example you might meet a similar question or something different from this but this for just um, example purposes so you could be meet meeting something like maybe proof by induction maybe a question could be um, something like proof by induction and then you'll be giving this expression maybe k plus 1 plus k all into bracket k plus 1 divided by 2 and then you'll be giving some options okay all you have to do okay proving by induction all you have to do is just use a calculator trick okay to get the answer Okay, so that's what we'll be doing in this video. So before I proceed, I'll urge you to you know subscribe to the channel, help us grow the channel, and then hit on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any calculator tricks or tutorial videos we make available on the channel. Okay, so let's proceed. Okay, so once you meet something like this during your multiple choice question. All you have to do is just pull up your calculator. Okay, so you, the, the, the trick is you don't have enough time to, or you won't have enough time, you know, to go through the entire proving process. Okay, so all you have to do is just pick up your calculator and then you solve it. So this is how it's all done. Okay, so first you pick up your calculator. Okay, and then you insert, then you insert the um corresponding you know question okay so this is how it goes kindly follow me and then you get to understand it's very very simple and then straightforward okay so let's proceed okay so this is how it's done first what you have to know is that the calculator only responds to variables which are represented as x so i can't insert something like k in the calculator okay so let's substitute k for x okay so inserting this expression we have alpha x right plus one okay plus um we have uh, alpha x okay and then okay open bracket alpha x plus one okay and then you close the bracket okay and then divided by two right so this is our expression so this is the question so you we want to find the you know the answers right you've been given multiple answers so first you try to you know use every single you know option to prove you know for the you know the answer okay so all you have to do is this insert the options one after the other till you get to the exact matching you know answer okay so instead of going through the proving process you just skip that okay you don't have to first prove this and that and that nah you just have to use a calculator to arrive at your answer so this is how it's done so we first use the first option okay that's option a so click on alpha and then the column okay and then you insert this expression so we have this okay we have x okay squared plus 3x right that's we are substituting x for k okay plus 2 okay divisible by 2 okay so from here we could see that we've just converted this as the exact um, equation onto the calculator so all you have to do is just insert a permutated value to arrive at our answer okay so 
this is what you do choose any reasonable value okay choose any reasonable value so i'll go for a value like one or two to prove my case over here so all you have to do is press one after inserting after correctly inserting the expression okay yes after correctly inserting the expression pay very close attention to this portion of the trick okay it's just the backbone once you don't get this you might not get the entire calculation trick okay or calculator trick so all you have to do is click on the calc okay and you insert a reasonable value so let's see you one okay and then you click on the equal to sign you can see that for the first case okay for this example okay okay you can see that we had answer to be three right now let's verify which one of these options is the correct answer or prove the induction question okay so after getting this you click on answer we could see that for the answer for the first option we could see that we also had three as the answer this means that option a is the correct answer for this induction question okay so after inserting the permutative value that's one we arrived at yes as one we arrive at the answer to be three and then this also true for this one okay for the options okay let's choose another value okay let's say s to be two right you get what six over here and then six over there you see it means that a is the answer okay so let's choose the worst case scenario let's say we chose option b to verify our induction problem okay okay so let's see we can see that it's minus 3k right so let's delete this one and interchange that we just change that to minus 3 okay so all you have to do is just verify to find out whether b is the right induction proof for your question so all you have to do is just click on the calc let's insert one okay one okay so we have three for this one that's the main question let's try proof for the um options okay click on this one equal to sign we could see that b is not the correct answer because for b it gave us zero it doesn't match with the answer um for the exact question okay this means that b is not the answer okay a is the correct answer let's verify for a different value so let's say two okay you can see that we had six for this we had zero for that it means b is not the answer okay or a is the answer right so let's take another example okay let's take another example okay let's say we have a certain expression like n okay less than or equal to greater than or equal to 3 and then it corresponds to something like this expression okay right so n plus 4 just as we always do we just pick the value so we know that n has to be greater than or equal to 3 so let's pick n to be equal to 3 and verify so we have two exponents 3 should be greater than 3 plus 4 right this is what 8 this is what 7 it means that this is really true okay this expression is really true so let's pick n to be k okay okay so let's say n is equal to k if n is equal to k then we will have 2 we will have we will have um 2 exponent k greater than k plus 4 okay so let's prove for what if we have k plus 1 that's maybe if k is a certain value the next value to that value is what okay so k 
that's one okay so we have two exponent k plus one okay should be greater than k plus one put this into brackets plus four okay now due to indices we can just break this down okay we have two exponent k multiplied by two exponent one okay that's and then we have k plus one okay that's plus four okay so this is so after getting to this point we would realize that just as we did for the previous tutorial okay we could see that this is the same as this expression okay two exponent k is the same as this expression so we, we just substitute that so we have these two multiplied by this one which is this one so we have 2k plus 4 greater than k plus 1, okay, plus 4, okay. Now, if I arrive at the answer, okay, so to prove, you can further simplify this to 2k, right, plus Eight should be greater than k plus one, okay, plus four, okay. So this is true because once you insert a certain value for k, it has to be greater than the right hand side, okay. So let's use a calculator trick to prove that. So the question in case is an MCQ question, multiple choice question. The question will be this. This will be the question and this side okay this would be the question and then this would be one of the options okay this will be one of the options so all you have to do is that you use the same trick okay so let's pull up a calculator and then but first let's choose a certain value for k okay let's say k is equal to um Let's say k is equal to 3, okay, because the initial statement we use, um, initial case we use 3, okay, let's choose k to be equal to 3 and then let's use our calculator, okay, so let's use the calculator trick to solve this one, okay, so all you have to do is just insert the values, okay, so we have the equation, okay, so we have 2x, okay, plus 8 okay and then we use that the colon and then we insert our values x plus 1 okay plus 4 now we choose our key value to be what 3 okay so click on this and then click on that 2 plus 2x plus 8 to give us what 14 okay this is 14 okay then let's check for k plus 1 only to bracket plus 4 okay that will give us what 8 right it means that this is definitely true the induction expression or induction uh, principle is true for this example let's use another value to verify since n or k has to be greater than or less than no greater than or equal to 3 okay so let's choose another value let's say 5 okay you can see that 2x plus 8 or 2k plus 8 is 18 let's see for the other side okay that's 10 right okay so i i hope you understood this and i know you implement it in your exams trust me when you use this method you just ace your exams okay this is how you learn smart okay right so i will see you in the next video where we'll be talking about complex numbers how to solve complex numbers you solve them the smart way not the hard way okay once again i'll urge you to share your thoughts with me or ask in the comment section below and then whatever question you want to you know ask you just ask in, in the comment section and then i will reply you as soon as possible and then don't forget to subscribe okay and then 
it on the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any other videos see you in the next one